The Decisive Word Regarding the Ascension of Jesus Part 3 A Hadith Regarding the Descent of Jesus, Peace Be Upon Him The First Hadith Al-Bukhari and Muslim transmitted the following Narrated Abu Huraira the Messenger of Allah said, By him in whose hands my soul is, surely Jesus, peace be upon him, the Son of Mary, will soon descend amongst you and will judge mankind justly, as a just ruler, he will break the cross and kill the pigs and there will be no jizya, i.e. taxation taken from non-Muslims. Money will be in abundance so that nobody will accept it, and a single prostration to Allah, in prayer, will be better than the whole world and whatever is in it. This is Al-Bukhari's wording. Sahih Al-Bukhari, 3448 As for Muslim, his wording of the Hadith is more complete. The Messenger of Allah, Shalallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said, By him whom my soul is in his hand, the son of Mary, peace upon him, will soon descend among you as a just judge. He will break the cross, kill the enswine, abolish the jizya, taxation taken from the non-Muslims, and he wealth will pour forth to such an extent that no one will accept it. Al-Bukhari, 2222-2476, Muslim, 155. And there is another narration of Muslim with the addition. To the point where one prostration is better than the world and everything in it. Also, in the collections of al-Bukhari and Muslim after the hadith was traced back to Abu Huraira the additional wording is, then Abu Huraira said, if you wish, you can recite this verse of the holy book. There is not one of the people of the scripture except that they will believe in Jesus, peace be upon him, before his death after he descends towards the end of time. On the day of judgment, Jesus, peace be upon him, will bear witness against their actions, whether agreeing with the sacred law or not. And Nisa, 4, 159. The meaning of this sentence, i.e. the aforementioned verse. The narration of Abu Huraira in the previous chain is a proof regarding Jesus, peace be upon him, descending at the end of time, which gives credence to this narration and other than it. Similar to that which we will bring loss evidence, insha'Allah. And there is none of the people of the book but must believe. This is pertaining to Jesus before his death, and the people being referred to are the people of the book who will be present at the time of his descent. And all religions will be one. That religion will be Islam, as mentioned. Ibn Abbas was firmly convinced by this meaning as Ibn Jarrah narrated by way of Sa'id ibn Jubair, on his authority in an authentic chain. A discussion of this has proceeded in the explanation of the verse. The Second Hadith it was also reported by al-Bukhari and Muslim from the Hadith of Abu Huraira. The Messenger of Allah, Shalallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said, What will be your state when the Son of Mary, i.e. Jesus, peace be upon him, descends amongst you and there will be an imam from amongst you all? Al-Bukhari, 3449, Muslim, 155. Al-Bukhari compiled this Hadith into the book, Narrations of the Prophets Regarding Jesus, Peace Be Upon Him, Descent. Likewise, Muslim quoted the Hadith at the end of the Book of Iman chapter. The descent of Jesus, the son of Mary, ruling with our prophets, i.e. Muhammad, legislature. Ahmad narrated a similar version. As you can see, both al-Bukhari and Muslim agreed upon the wording of these two narrations with different chains on the authority of Abu Huraira. Every Muslim knows the narrations that al-Bukhari and Muslim agree upon are the most authentic and trusted speech after the Book of Allah, mighty and sublime. Sheikh Ash-Shankiti, the author of the book, Zad al-Muslim regarding that which al-Bukhari and Muslim agreed upon, said after narrating this hadith. Note, believing that Jesus, peace be upon him, is still alive at this very moment is a legislated obligation. And it is a must, to believe, that he will descend at the end of time and judge with the legislation of our Prophet. Likewise, Jesus will fight in the path of Allah as this information has been reported with indisputable authenticity on the truthful and believed, i.e. the Messenger, peace and blessings upon him. Indeed it is mandatory to believe that, because Allah informs in his noble book, which cannot be approached by falsehood in any way, that the Jews did not kill Jesus and that Allah raised him. As Allah says, They did not kill him as they claimed, nor did they crucify him, but they killed and crucified a man whom Allah made to resemble Jesus, so they thought the person who was killed was Jesus. And Nisa, 4 157. Instead, Allah saved Jesus from their plot and raised him in body and spirit to himself. And Nisa, 4 158. Indeed, indisputably authentic narrations have been reported on the fact that has preceded, Jesus, peace be upon him, will descend at the end of time as a just ruler. He will break the cross, kill the swine, discontinue the Josiah, and wealth will spread to a point, which no one will accept it.
There are other, explicit narrations regarding his decent and his time period alive on earth after his decent. Furthermore, there is no authentic hadith of Jesus' death that can possibly contend with the indisputably authentic narrations that affirm Jesus' descent at the end of time. Since the Quran informs that Jesus, peace be upon him, was raised and not killed, the Prophet clarified to us that Jesus will descend at the end of time and describe Jesus' condition after he descends with a detailed explanation that removes all other scenarios, it is obligatory that a Muslim believe in this manner. Whoever doubts in it is a disbeliever according to the consensus of the Muslim body. He is deemed soul because this issue is one known by every Muslim out of bare religious necessity devoid of any dispute. And everything reported in it from the atheists and the ignorant is false and it is not befitting for anyone who has knowledge to turn to it. The Third Hadith Muslim reported in his Sahih, on the authority of Abiy Zizabar, that he heard Jabir bin Abdullah say I heard the Prophet, Shalallahu Alaihi Wasallam, say. There will always be a group from amongst my nation who will not cease fighting for the truth and will be victorious till the day of resurrection. He said, Jesus, peace be upon him, son of Mary, would then descend and there, the Muslims, leader would invite him to come and lead them in prayer, but he will say. No, some amongst you are leaders over others. This is an honor from Allah for this Ummah. Reported by Muslim. Muslim, 156. The Fourth Hadith. Muslim reported on the authority of Nafi, he said Abdullah bin Umar said, the Messenger of Allah, Shalallahu Alaihi Wasallam, mentioned the Antichrist in the presence of the people one day. Thus, the Messenger said, Verily, Allah is not blind in one eye. Most certainly, the Antichrist is blind in his right eye, as if his eye is a swollen grape. He said, and the messenger said, I was shown in a dream this night that I was near the Kaaba. There was a man with a complexion between black and white, one of the finest men that you ever saw. His locks of hair were falling on his shoulders. His hair was combed, and water trickled down from his head. He was placing his hands on the shoulders of two men as he circumambulated the house, i.e. Kaaba. I said, who is he? They replied, Jesus, the son of Mary and I saw behind him a man of sturdy build with intensely curly hair, blind in his right eye. He resembled Ibn Katan more than anyone I've seen from the people. He was placing his hands on the shoulders of two men as he circumambulated the house. I said, who is this? They said, this is the Antichrist. Reported by Muslim. Muslim, 169. The meaning of this hadith which was reported by Muslim, with different chains, on authority of Ibn Umar who saw the Prophet in a dream and it's known. The dreams of the Prophets are revelation. Al-Bukhari, 137-59 What will the conditions be at the end of time as it relates to Jesus, the son of Mary his descent, his circumambulation of the house? The Antichrist's appearance and his circumambulation of the house. The Messenger's observation of them both in the same dream supports this meaning. After all, it is well known that Jesus is going to kill the Antichrist as this, fact, has already been mentioned in the narrations, of Hadith. The Fifth Hadith Muslim reported in, the Book of Hajj, in the chapter, The Prophet's Declaration and His Guidance. On the authority of Abu Huraira, on the authority of the Messenger of Allah, Shalallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, by the one, whom my soul is in his hand, the son of Mary will certainly make a declaration for Hajj, Amrah, or a combination between the two in the Valley of Rawa. Similarly, Ahmad narrated this hadith. Muslim, 1252, and Ahmad, 7231. Ash-Shankiti says in his commentary of this hadith, Is there evidence more explicit, regarding Jesus, peace be upon him, descent and that he's still alive? More than the Prophet swearing that Jesus is going to declare intentions for Hajj or Umrah once or twice? The Sixth Hadith Imam Ahmad reported on the authority of Abu Huraira, he said, the Messenger of Allah, Shalallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said, Jesus, son of Mary will descend, kill the pigs, destroy the cross, and a congregational prayer will be gathered for. So much wealth shall be disseminated that people will refuse to accept it. And Jesus will not accept the Josiah. And Jesus will descend upon Raha Valley. Jesus, from there, will go to perform Hajj, Umrah, or combine between the two. Ahmad in his Musnad, 7843. The eminent scholar Al Albani, in the story of the Messiah, page 99, as I said, its chain is authentic on the 
Conditions of Muslim and he extracted from it the descent of Jesus at Raha. Abu Huraira recited. And there is none of the people of the book but must believe in him before his death. Hanthala presumed that Abu Huraira said, they will believe in Jesus before his death. Hanthala said. And, I do not know if all of this is the hadith of the prophet or something Abu Huraira said. This was also reported by Ibn Abi Hadim on the authority of his father, on the authority of Abi Musa Muhammad bin al mathana on the authority of Yazid bin Harun, on the authority Safayan bin Hussein, on the authority of Az Zuri. The Seventh Hadith Imam Ahmad said, We were told by Afayan, we were told by Hamam, we were informed by Qatada, on the authority of Abdir Rahman, on the authority of Abi Huraira, that the Prophet said, The Prophets are brothers, to each other, a lot, their mothers are different and their religion is one. And indeed, I am most worthy of Jesus, the son of Mary, because there was not a prophet between him and me. And indeed Jesus will descend. So know him. He is neither tall nor is he short and has between a red and white complexion. Upon him are two light yellowish garments. It is as if his head has water dripping from it, even if water was not poured on his head. He will destroy the cross, kill the pigs, will not accept the Josiah, and call the people to Islam. During his time, Allah will destroy all other religions except Islam. Also, Allah will destroy the Antichrist during Jesus' time. Then safety will come down on earth to the point where lions will be cared for along with camels, tigers with cows, wolves with sheep. Also, boys will play with snakes that will not hurt them. Thus, Jesus will stay forty years, pass away, and the Muslims will pray over him. Ahmad in his Musnad, 9017 the eminent scholar Al Albani authenticated it in his Silsila as Sahihah, 2182. Similarly, Abu Dawud reported the hadith on the authority of Hudba bin Khalid, on the authority of Hammam bin Yahya, also, Ibn Jarrah reported the hadith on the authority of Bishr bin Muad, on the authority of Yazid bin Harun, and on the authority of Sayyidi bin Abi Arwuba. Both chains are on the authority Qatada, on the authority of Abdir Rahman bin Adam, on the authority of Abu Huraira. The Eighth Hadith Muslim reported in his Sahih, I was told by Zuhair bin Harb, we were told by Yala bin Mansur, we were told by Suleiman bin Bilal, we were told by Suhail, on the authority of his father, on the authority of Abu Huraira. Allah's Messenger, Shalallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said, the last hour will not be established until the Romans land at Alamic or in Dabak. On that day, an army consisting of the best people on earth will come from Medina, to counter them. When they arrange themselves in ranks, the Romans will say, Give us access to those of U.S. whom were taken as captives so that we fight them. The Muslims will say, Nay, by Allah. We would never grant you access to our brothers for you to fight them. They, the armies, will then fight. A third of the army, of Muslims, will run away, whom Allah will never forgive. A third, of the believers, which consists of the most excellent martyrs to Allah, will be killed. And a third that will never be put to trial, will win. And they will conquer Constantinople. While they divide the spoils, they would have already hung their swords on the olive tree Satan will yell out to them. The Antichrist has assumed your places among your families. They will then come out, but that, i.e. Satan's claim, is not true. And when they come to, the area of Asham, the Antichrist will come out, while they're preparing themselves for battle, drawing up the ranks. When the prayer is established then Jesus, son of Mary, will descend and lead them in prayer. When the enemy of Allah sees Jesus, he will melt, just as salt dissolves in water. If he is left like that then, he will dissolve until he is destroyed. However, Allah will kill the Antichrist by his hand. Hence, Allah will make the Antichrist's blood visible to them on Jesus' spear. Muslim, 2897 The Ninth Hadith Ahmad said, We were told by Hashem, on the authority of Alawam bin Hashab, on the authority of Jabalah bin Suwaym, on the authority of Muthur bin Afaza, on the authority of Ibn Masud. On the authority of the Messenger of Allah, Shalallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, I met Ibrahim, Moses, and Jesus during the night in which I was taken. They discussed the issue of the last hour. Thus, they referred their affair to Ibrahim. Abraham said, I have no knowledge about it, i.e. the last hour. So they referred their affair to Moses. He said, I have no knowledge about it. At that point, they referred their issue to Jesus. 
He said, as for the last hours, actual, time, no one knows that except Allah. From what my Lord revealed to me, the Antichrist will come out and I will have two rods. When the Antichrist sees me, he will melt just as lead melts. Jesus, then, said, thus, Allah will destroy him when he sees me to the point that the stone and tree will say, O Muslim, there is a disbeliever under me. So come kill him. Jesus said, thus, Allah will destroy them. Then the people will return to their lands and regions. At that point, Gog and Magog will quickly exit from every high point. Gog and Magog will flatten the lands of the people. They will not come upon anything except that they obliterate it. And they will not pass water except that they will drink it. Jesus said, then the people will return and complain about Gog and Magog. So, I will supplicate to Allah against them. Thus, Allah will destroy them and cause them to die until earth will reek of their rotten odor. Allah will then send down rain and their bodies will be swept away until they are thrown in the ocean. From that which has been revealed to me from my Lord, when, the situation, becomes like that. The last hour will be the example of a completely pregnant woman whose family does not know when she will surprise them by giving birth, whether it will be night or day. Ahmad in his Musnad, 3546, and Ibn Majah, 4081. It was reported like this by Ibn Majah on the authority of Muhammad bin Bishar, on the authority of Yazid bin Harun, on the authority of al Awam bin Haushab. Sheikh Ahmad Shakir said in his remarks regarding this hadith, its chain is authentic. Jibalaf bin Suwain is a tabi'i, and he was seen to be trustworthy. Ahmad, Athari, Shuba, Ibn Ma'in and others declared him to be trustworthy. Muthur bin Afaza, Abul Muthana al-Kufi, is also trustworthy. Ibn Hibban mentioned him in his book, ADH Thikat. Al-Hakim said, a group from the Tabi'in narrated on him. Al-Bukhari wrote a biography on him in his book, Al-Kabir. Al-Hakim also reported the hadith in his book, Al-Mustadarik, by way of Yazid bin Harun, and he said, The chain is authentic and they both, Al-Bukhari and Muslim, did not report it and ADH Dahabi agreed with him. Tenth Hadith Muslim also said in his Sahih, We were told by Abidullah bin Mu'ad al Anbari, we were told by my father, we were told by Shuba, on the authority of Numan bin Salem, he said. I heard Yaqub bin Asim bin Urwa, Ibn Masad Adh Thakafi, saying, I heard Abdullah bin Amr say. A man came to him and said, What is this hadith that you narrate in which you say the last hour will be established at such and such time? Abdullah bin Amr then said, Glorified is Allah, or there is no deity truly worthy of being worshipped except Allah, or a similar phrase. Abdullah bin Amr then said, I had decided that I would not narrate anything to anyone ever. I only said that you will soon see a formidable event, the house, i.e. the Kabiye, will be burned and this definitely will happen. He then said that Allah's messenger said, the Antichrist will appear in my nation. He will stay for forty. I do not know if he meant forty days, forty months, or forty years. Then Allah, exalted as he, will send Jesus son of Mary, who will resemble Urwa bin Masud. Jesus, peace be upon him, will seek him out and kill him. Then the people will remain for seven years, in which, rancor will not exist, between two individuals. Then, Allah will send a cold wind from the direction of Asham. No individual with an atom's weight of good or faith will remain on earth. Even if some from amongst you were to enter into the middle of a mountain, the wind will reach him and cause his death. Abdullah bin Amr then said, I heard this from the Messenger of Allah. The Messenger of Allah said, Only the wicked people will survive and they will be as reckless as birds and as savagely oppressive as beasts. They will never know goodness nor condemn evil. Then, Satan will come to them in human form and will say, Won't you respond? And they will say, What do you order us? Hence, Satan will command them to worship the idols and they will do so. While they are in this state their sustenance will be abundant and their living conditions will be good. Then, the trumpet will be blown, and no one will hear it except that he will bend his neck to one side and raise it from the other side. The Messenger of Allah said. And the first one to hear the trumpet will be a man who is fixing the tank meant for providing water for his camels. He will swoon and the other people will also swoon. Then Allah will send, or, the messenger, one said send down, rain which resembles dew, or maybe he, said it would be like shade, Numan, one of the narrators, was uncertain. Consequently, the bodies of mankind will sprout up. Then the second trumpet would be blown and they would stand up and begin to look, around. 
A.Z. Zumer, 3968. Then it will be said, O people, go to your Lord. But stop them, for they must be asked, as Safet, 3724. Then it will be said, bring out a group, of them, for the hellfire. And then it will be said, how many? It will be said, 999 out of every thousand. The messenger said, that will be the day that turns the adolescent gray, and that is the day in which the shin will be exposed. Muslim, 2940. It was reported by Muslim and NASAE in his tafsir. Both chains are on the authority of Muhammad bin Bashar, on the authority of Gundar, on the authority of Shuba, on the authority of Numan bin Salem. The point of focus in this important hadith is his saying, Allah will send Jesus, the son of Mary. Send does not mean resurrect from the dead. It means, however, that Allah will send him down to earth. So, this agrees with the rest of the narrations. The Eleventh Hadith We Imam Ahmad said, we were informed by Abdur Razazak, were informed by Mamar, on the authority of Azizari, on the authority of Abdullah bin Ubaidillah bin the Laba al -Ansari. On the authority of Abdullah bin Zayd al-Ansari, on the authority Mujami bin Jariyah, he said I heard the messenger of Allah, Shalalahu alayhi wa sallam, say, The son of Mary will kill the Antichrist at the gate of Lud or beside the gate of Lud. Musnad, 15,041, Tirmidhi, 2244, the eminent scholar El Albani made it authentic in Sahih al jami 5462, and Tirmidhi volume 4, 515. Al-Tirmidhi narrated it like this, on the authority of Imran bin Husayn, Nafi bin Yuyena, Abi Barza, Hudhaifa bin Asid, Abi Hirara, Kaisan, Uthman bin Abi Elias, Jabir, Abi Umama. Ibn Masud, Abdullah bin Amr, Samura bin Jundab, and Nawaz bin Saman, Amr bin Auf, and Hudhaifa bin al Yaman, all narrated, in this context. Ibn Kathir said, he, Imam Ahmad, intended, by, citing, their narration, to discuss Jesus, peace be upon him, the son of Mary killing the Antichrist. As for the narrations that mention the Antichrist alone, they are plentiful. Those narrations are too abundant to be counted because of their dissemination and copious citation in hadith books of the Siya, the Hizan, the Masanid, and elsewhere. The Twelfth Hadith Imam Ahmad said, We were informed by Sufyan, on the authority of Furat, on the authority of Abi Tufail, on the authority Hudhaifa bin Asit al Gifari said. The Messenger of Allah, Shalalahu alayhi wa sallam, approached us from a room while we were remembering the last hour. He said, the last hour will not be established until you see ten signs. The rising of the sun from the west, the smoke, the beast, the exiting of Gog and Magog, the descent of Jesus, the son of Mary, the Antichrist, and three eclipses and eclipse in the east. An eclipse in the west, and an eclipse in the Arabian Peninsula and a fire that will emit from the depths of Adan. That fire will hurt and gather the people, staying overnight with them wherever they sleep, and also remaining with them wherever they nap in the midday. Muslim, 2901 Likewise, Muslim reported this, narration, and the people of the Sunan reported it like this, from the Hadith of Firat al-Qazaz. He also narrated the Hadith, from the narration of Abdulaziz bin Rafi, on the authority of Abi at Tufail, on the authority of Abi Sariha. On the authority of Hudhaifa bin Asid al gifari as a Makuf narration. The Thirteenth Hadith Muslim reported in his Sahih, on the authority and Nawaz bin Saman al kilabi he said that Allah's messenger, Shalalahu alayhi wa sallam, mentioned the Antichrist one day in the morning. He described both the lowliness and magnitude of the Antichrist, so much so, that we assumed the Antichrist was within a cluster of date trees. When we went to the messenger, he could see that, fear, in us. He said, what is the matter with you? We said, O messenger of Allah, you mentioned the Antichrist in the morning. You mentioned his lowliness and magnitude until we thought he was in a cluster of date trees. So he said, other things, besides the Antichrist, frighten me regarding you. If he exits, and I'm amongst you, I will be the victorious debater against him for you. And if he exits, and I'm not amongst you, every man will fend for himself. And Allah will care for every Muslim after I'm gone. The Antichrist is a young man with twisted, contracted hair, and a blind eye. I compare him to Abdul Azza bin Katan. Whoever reaches him must recite the opening verses of Surah Al-Kaf. 
He will appear on the way between Syria and Iraq and will spread mischief right and left. So remain steady, O slaves of Allah. We said, O messenger of Allah, how long will he stay on earth? He said, forty days, one day like a year, one day like a month, and one day like a week. And the rest of the days will be like your days. We said, O messenger of Allah, will one day's prayer suffice the prayers of the day that equals one year? He said, no. Estimate the time. We said, O messenger of Allah, how quickly will he travel through earth? He said, like a cloud driven by the wind. Thus, he will come to the people, invite them, and they will believe in him and answer to him. He will then command the sky, and rain will fall. And, he will command, the earth and crops will grow. Then, at the end of the day, their grazing animals will return to them with their humps very high, their udders full of milk, and their flanks meaty. The Antichrist will then come to another people and invite them, but they will reject him. Thus, he will go away from them. At that point, those people will be afflicted by destitution and drought. Not a trace of their wealth will remain in their hands. So, he will walk through the wasteland and say to it, Bring forth your treasures. The wasteland will submit its treasures before him as a queen bee would. He will then call a person brimming with youth, strike him with the sword, cut him into two pieces, separate them the length of the archer and his target. He will then call that young man, and he will approach with his face gleaming and laughing, this will be his situation. Allah will send the Messiah, son of Mary. He will descend at the white minaret in the eastern side of Damascus wearing two garments lightly dyed with saffron and placing his hands on the wings of two angels. When he lowers his head, droplets will drip from his head. And when he lifts his head, beads will scatter like pearls. It will not be possible for the disbelievers to smell their own odor except that they will die and the disbeliever's breath will reach where his vision stops. Jesus will then search for the Antichrist until he catches hold of him at the gate of Lud and will kill him. Then a people whom Allah had protected will come to Jesus, son of Mary. Thus, he will wipe their faces and inform them of their ranks in paradise. And while this will be his situation, Allah will reveal to Jesus, I have brought forth some of my slaves that no one will be able to defeat. So take my servants to Atur. And then Allah will send Gog and Magog. And they will swarm down from every slope. The first section of them will pass the lake of Tiberias and drink its entire content. And when the last section of them passes, they will say, There was once water here. Jesus and his companions will be trapped to the point that a bull's head to one of them will be better than 100 dinars to one of you today. At that point, Allah's apostle Jesus and his companions will supplicate to Allah. Thus, Allah will send worms that infest the noses of camels and sheep in the necks of Gog and Magog. Hence, they will all die simultaneously like one individual soul. Allah's apostle Jesus and his companions will then come down to the land. And they will not find in the earth as much as an arm's length of space that is not filled with their putrefaction and stench of Gog and Magog. Allah's apostle Jesus and his companions will, again, beseech Allah. Thus, Allah will send birds whose necks would be like those of long necked camels. Hence, the birds will carry them away and throw them wherever Allah wills. Then Allah will send down rain. No house of clay or tent of skin will keep it out. Thus, it will wash away the earth until it would appear to be like a mirror. Then the earth will be told to bring forth its fruits and restore its blessing. As a result, on that day, a group of people will eat a colossal pomegranate and use its peel as a shade. Milk will be so abundantly blessed that one she camel either on the verge of giving birth or with milk will suffice a group of people. And the sheep on the verge of giving birth or with milk will suffice a group of relatives. While this will be their situation, Allah will send a pleasant wind. Thus, it will take them by their armpits and thus take the soul of every Muslim and Muslim.
and the evilest people will remain. They will have sexual intercourse publicly in the sexual manner of donkeys. Thus, the hour will be established upon them, Muslim, 2937. With that said, there are several narrations on this topic, besides what we have mentioned. Some scholars have arrived at 60 narrations that vary between Marfu, Makuf, and Mursal. However, we singled out this selection of narrations because it is the most authentic and well-known. Indeed, Ibn Kathir, may Allah have mercy on him, after mentioning his narrations regarding the generalities of, of these narrations, he said. These narrations are reported on the Messenger of Allah with indisputable authenticity on the authority of Abu Huraira, Ibn Masud, Uthman ibn Abi Alayas, Abi Umama, and Noah's bin Saman. Abdullah bin Amr bin al As, Mujami bin Jariyah, Abi Shariha, Hudhaifa bin Asid. And this is the proof regarding the description of his descent along with the place of his descent being Asham, Damascus, more specifically. At the eastern minaret and that will be during the time of the morning prayer.